c'est quelque chose de, de fort et de grand quoi, quand même de, de faire le tour du monde tout seul. It's an incredible thing to go around the world on boats like these. They're not easy to handle. So crossing the finishing line of the Vendée Globe is such a powerful feeling that you want to go for another one. I was born in Camper, and my parents lived on the banks of the River Ode. I started sailing with my father. He had a requin, an old racing boat, and a dinghy. I started sailing there, and then one day he took me to the sailing club on Ile Tudi, a small sailing club where I started sailing Optimus. I sailed dinghies until the age of 17, and then I had an opportunity to sail the La Solitaire de Figaro race when I was 18. It was great to be able to sell that race when I was only 18 years old. I was contacted a lot after that race by owners and multi-hull skippers wanting me to sail with them. I sailed with Patrick Morvan and Francois Boucher, who were famous skippers at the time. I really enjoyed it. I was studying in the Merchant Navy at that time and decided after a year to stop my studies and race sailboats full time. I've raced in 14 Figaro's. I've done seven Tour de France about 25 transatlantic races and three Vendée Globes and I finished the last one. Dernier Vendée, euh, mon but était de, de trouver... During the last Vendée Globe, my goal was to find the best compromise to finish the race. The first objective was to finish the race. So my best memory was crossing the finishing line in Le Sable It was just an amazing moment in my life. Moi, j'ai eu la chance de faire le Vendée Globe tôt, en 92, avec euh, pas de porte. I had the chance to do the Vendée Globe in 1992 without ice skates and to do it again 20 years later. A lot of things changed in 20 years. I've seen the evolution of the race over 20 years. It's very different. My experience of the Vendée Globe was to go straight through the icebergs, which was not necessarily a very good thing to do. But we were much more carefree than today. It's now much more cautious. It's a different race, but it brings something else. So I've known both, but I have no regrets because we sail in safer conditions and we're no longer woken up by the radar with an iceberg three miles ahead of the boat. I've always had strong Imoka 60 boats. These boats are very technical and very interesting because you can do a lot of research. It's fun to go fast on the water with reliable and quick boats. They'll continue to evolve in the coming years. Mm -hmm.